from CVU, Kai Rainsborough's play, He's the Hero We Deserve. This is the hero we deserve, starring the actor heroes we deserve, Michael Lawler and Gita Searforce. <laughs> So, oh, this is what it's come to. They always say, goodbye cruel world, right? It didn't really make sense until... You can do this. Just step off. Just step off. No, 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 shit, 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 no, no. Who are you? What are you doing? Where did you even come from? Oh, oh, um, I ran up the fire escape. I'm here to help. And I forget your first question. <laughs> <sighs> Who are you? Uh, me? I'm a vigilante. <laughs> Is someone about to hurt me? <sighs> well, duh, you are. I'm here to save you from you. Cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, perhaps I should clarify. I'm a therapist. <laughs> I thought you said you were a vigilante. Well, I'm that too. Uh, see, I started off as a normal vigilante, but Anaheim is uh, pretty okay in terms of violent crime, and I'm not about to create more violent crime. That's Vigilante 101. But I read something like uh, about a mental health epidemic in California, and I was like, boom! <laughs> There's my angle. So now I roam the streets looking for people in need of counseling. It's sick. <laughs> Do you have a degree? <laughs> a degree of uncertainty. <laughs> Just kidding, we like to have fun here. <laughs> so, how may I be of service? Uh, I, uh, I don't know if you can be. I'm sorry, I'd like to be alone if you wouldn't mind. I appreciate it and all, but you've given us a lot of thought and... You've decided to kill yourself. Well, first things first, don't do that. <laughs> Not that simple. What's your name? Oh, my name is Teresa, but my friends call me Terry. <laughs> and I've got a hunch that you and I are going to be great friends, fire escape guy. Will, my name is Will. Will. Well, Teresa. Terry. <laughs> Will. Uh, we're buds here, right, Will? Terry. I don't think you're barking up the right tree here. See, my life is not one that anyone would want to live. Girl problems? No, I've actually never had girl problems. Oh, you gay? No, it's not that. I, I, I'm, I just, I mean, I'm... Uh, you sure? I know a guy who never had a girlfriend, and he's gay. His name is Patrick. And he's really nice. You want to meet him? No, I'm definitely straight. It's just... I'm very anxious. And in college, being known as the virgin guy is... You know, it's... It's an uphill battle. I'm, I'm just not ready to fight. Let me get this straight. You're sad because you're a virgin, and so if I have sex with you, you won't kill yourself. Oh, my yeah, God. that is not <laughs> nope. right. Don't worry, I'm great at sex. I know all the different kinds of sex, even the ones with funny names. Come on. That is It'll be fun. Not the problem, Jerry. I just bought an audiobook about sex, and according to this British lady, if you reverse engineer the human anatomy, you're not actually... Terry, I know. Okay, okay. I know, I know you clearly see some sort of value in stopping me, but believe me, this is for the better. Uh, it's not better for anybody to die. Even Hitler? Are you Hitler? <laughs> no. Then don't kill yourself. Right, but there's got to be a gray area between people who shouldn't and people who should, and I fall somewhere in there. On the Hitler side? I, <laughs> I hate life, and life doesn't want me. There's something to that. Why don't you like life? I'm not really suited for the modern pace of things. 
I tried college, but I couldn't keep up with the demands of a business degree, and now I'm having trouble scraping by. Oh, it's <laughs> money. Oh, it's debt. It's money, right? Uh, I can help with that. Teresa. My friends call me Terry. <laughs> and you're my friend. Let's make like the French and be <laughs> entrepreneurs. <laughs> we'll start a business and corner the market on something everybody needs but nobody's selling, like women's pants with reasonably sized pockets. <laughs> Pen that's not just marketed to children. Or, like, Terry, so Terry, that's that's a nice thought. But listen, I'm sorry that you have to be here for this. I know that you think you can talk me out of this, but there's really nothing you can do. Why not? Killing yourself is bad, Will. Please stop saying it. What? That I'm about to kill myself. But that's what you're doing. <laughs> Wait. No, you're not doing it because I'm stopping you. What were you saying? I just don't like when you put it in words. It feels heavier, more real. That you want to kill yourself? I am not trying to think about the deed itself, okay? So if I keep telling you not to kill yourself, it might make you realize the severity of your decision. That is not what I said. Don't kill yourself, Will! Terry! Uh, uh... This is the Don't Kill Yourself song. <laughs> I want your life to be very long. <laughs> Even on the darkest day, something, something, skies are gray. Just Don't kill yourself. I hope you don't, please don't, 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 don't kill yourself. Teresa! <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Listen to me. I don't need money. I don't need sex. I just, I don't need friends. And I certainly don't need you to tell me what to do. This is my decision to make. Not yours. Not my mom's, not my dad's, not my boss's, not my professor's. It's, this is my one decision I can make completely on my own. And I made it. So you can pack up your little therapist vigilante bag or whatever and go find some other poor schmuck to save. Goodbye, Terry. Leave, I don't, I want to do this alone. I will. Just give me a minute. Will? Yeah? I'm not a very good therapist, am I? <laughs> you tried. Terry? Yeah? How do you do it? Good luck. Be happy. What do you mean? I mean, you're so goddamn happy all the time. How do you do it? Are you not happy? I try to be. I, I guess I just. I like helping people. I'm happy when I'm helping people. I guess I just kind of suck at it. I just think you need some practice. I can help you, though, could I? I don't think anyone could. Because stuff matters to you. Helping people and stuff. I don't have a god or beliefs or anything to make stuff feel important. Like I'm actually doing something. I just feel like nothing matters. I can't fix that. Well, I don't know if anything matters. Not like on the cosmic scale of everything that might happen in the universe, anything can really actually matter. Well, how do you make stuff matter if it doesn't? Well, to me, it's 
like nothing really matters. So if nothing matters, then you can only do what matters to you. And because that's the most mattering that's ever going to happen. Yes. So I want to help people because I never had somebody to help me. Even though I'm not really making a big difference, I'm doing something right. Okay. Uh, I'll get out of your hair. Let you do the deed. Hey, Terry? Yeah? Have you ever thought about her needing a sidekick or something? Um, I, I don't know. A sidekick would be nice, I think. I've never had a sidekick before. <laughs> a friend. Someone to look at problems with a different perspective. Someone to help me scout and vigilantize. <laughs> Be pretty kick ass. <laughs> Come to think of it, why do you know someone who isn't going to kill themselves? <laughs> you know, Terry, I think I do. Are <laughs> <laughs> <Tracy> downstairs? <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Terry, wait up! <laughs>